The annual Home and Garden Show starts today, and like years past, lots of featured speakers and guests will be on hand. News Channel 15's Rod Hissong is at Memorial Coliseum with one of the show's most popular attractions. Pat, good morning. Uh, speaking of featured guests, we're just going to get right to it. One of the most amazing animals you may ever see. I'm sure you have seen the videos uh, for years. This is Twiggy, the water skiing squirrel. Uh, Lou Ann Best, uh, one of the handlers, the trainers uh, holding her. And uh, this is the retirement tour. First time back to Fort Wayne in, what, 15 years, right? It's been quite a few years. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> since I've been to Fort Wayne. Well, like, welcome back. At least 10, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Twiggy, are you excited to be here? Oh, you are. Got to see some cousins. Okay, good to know. Good to know. A little Bigger family ones. reunion. <laughs> so tell me, Luann, uh, with Twiggy here, she's going to wind it down this year after touring for many decades. How in the world did you ever figure you could put a squirrel on a set of skis? It, it was a joke. We got the first Twiggy <laughs> after a rainstorm, took her in and raised her. Well, um, after we had her for a little while, my husband buys our daughter this little remote control boat for her birthday. He gets teased so much for buying her this boat, and then he's the one plagued with it all the time, so he figured he'd better come up with another excuse for driving it, so he just said, I have to learn to drive it so I can teach my squirrel to water ski with it. <laughs> we taught her as a joke. The news media got a hold of it and went crazy. So here I am on our 39th year. Here we are. We got a little pool set up in the uh, expo center of the Coliseum. Let's give it a whirl and uh, put Twiggy to work on this early morning. Got a boat here, a couple of stuffed squirrels up front for humorous effect, I imagine. So you not only uh, let the squirrel kind of ride around, but you use this as an opportunity to kind of educate children and, and families that come through on water safety. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, you know, my husband um, passed in a boating uh, incident where, you know, he jumped in to save someone and they didn't know how to swim and float and he made a big mistake. He forgot to grab a life jacket or a life ring before he jumped in to help. So he didn't make it home. So I've carried on and used Twiggy to promote water and boating safety to try to make a difference. So she's got her life jacket on, you know, we do a little skit with the kids so they realize how easy it is to float and hopes to make a difference. Educational entertainment, as we like to call it. We're going to talk with Twiggy and uh, Luann here in the 6.30 half hour first news this morning. And I'll be honest, if we don't make it back for the next half hour with Mad Dog and Merrill, it's probably because we're all watching Twiggy go around and round in circles on the boat, Pat. It seems simple, but it still amazes me after all these years. All right, Twiggy, uh, looking good in that life jacket. Thanks, Rod.